What is going on everybody, man? Mike is back with another video. Back here to discuss iOS 17 Beta 2, Public Beta 2, for, of course, those running it on their iPhones. Of course, I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro. I've been loving my experience. I've been thoroughly surprised at how enjoyable it has been to be in the iOS ecosystem. No shade at all to my Android ecosystem, such as when I was developing with Google and then the full dive I was <laughs> fully immersed in the Samsung ecosystem. Being able to try to transition that over to Apple has been a great experience despite how expensive it is. Uh, of course, I still only have two pieces right now, my AirPods and the iPhone working on an iPad and Apple Watch. So we'll see when that stuff comes down the pipeline. But as it is, how is public beta 2 running on the iPhone 14? Well, before we get into that, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so that way you can find videos on my live streams. That way we can sit back, relax, and see what's cracking. I don't live stream on this channel. Sorry, I did it again. Now, let's get into the video. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is, before I pull up my screen <laughs> recorder, is that the AirPlay icon and health app has some updates, meaning the AirPlay icon has been tweaked, has been changed a little bit, or the animation has a little more nice vibe to it, if you will. And then the health app has had some updates overall in terms of how it looks, how it's laid out. So I just wanted to let you guys know that off the top. Now, if we go ahead and bring the screen recorder up here, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys from the lock screen. Of course, if you guys like what's going on on my home page and all that, I can do another video about what's on my iPhone so that way you guys can see how I set it up. But we start with the lock screen and all my um, <laughs> notifications. As you guys see here, I haven't had no problems with uh, notifications bugging out like that. I've noticed some people say they have like Zolo Tech always kind of highlights his kind of goes a little ooh, but mine hasn't done that. So be on the lookout. That has been part of it. And I think that was even kind of a problem with iOS 16 anyway was notifications being a little jumpy and laggy. Next thing to actually showcase is if you want to customize the lock screen, right? Let's say I chose the one I'm on. If you guys click on the clock there, now the clock only goes so thin. So they've actually tweaked how thin this goes. So, you know, it used to go thinner than that, and now you can only go so thin. So I'm gonna bump mine back to where I had it, which was semi-thin, semi-thick, right there in the middle. The other bug is if you want to change the wallpaper, when sizing it, it creates a problem. So, let's say for instance, I pulled it all the way out. You see at the top there, it, it's blurred now at the top. I don't know why it does that. Of course, I believe again, it is a bug within the beta software because I didn't have this issue prior to that. And of course I can keep trying to get it to go away. It won't. So one of the things I've done is I just barely zoom in and then it goes away and then I set my wallpaper up that way. Now, some wallpaper that doesn't do it with, and I don't know if, it, if they're just like perfectly sized to the iPhone 14 Pro's screen resolution or you know size and width, whatever you want to call it. So sometimes it doesn't do it, but it seems like it does it more often times than not. So just be on the lookout for that. So if I go ahead and cancel that, so I can keep what I have going on here, select this back. Now, once I swipe up, I, it might sh no, uh, sh uh, showcase the slight new animation that's going on with uh, swiping up from your lock screen to the home page. It, okay, it won't because I was in my notification shade. Let's see what happens if, no, I think it's gonna cut my screen saver off, so I'm not gonna do it. But there is a slight new animation style when powering on the screen and swiping into your home screen, it kind of splashes a little different now. Now, if you will, let's go into messages, something else that has changed, and just for the sake of it, let's go into my Sonic here. <laughs> my little uh, Sonic giving me discounts and whatnot. Upon looking at the layout here, we know we now know that we have a plus icon instead of a row of different features we can use within the message app. Well, two things I've noticed. A, now, well, three things. Now they've changed the layout, of course. Now this was, of course, changed back in beta one, and I believe this is what it's gonna look like going forward anyway, but of course, Apple makes slight tweaks or changes their mind with certain things. And we've already noticed that between beta, public beta one and public beta two. So this is the layout, largely hasn't really changed, 
but the icons have changed with beta 2 meaning that the icons are more rounded now and the photos used to show the actual last photo you had going on in your photos app now it just shows a photos icon which i actually prefer and then of course you can swipe up to see additional options such as check-in another feature of ios 17 where you can let somebody know when essentially you've left and or checked into your desired location and then of course other things going on here some things that don't even really work one of the features i didn't know you could do with this until i tried <laughs> is you can actually relocate certain options in here so if you press and hold you can just do that and then i got boom so now i got my stickers and my images up there so i don't have to do a lot of swiping and i might even drop my cash down but the point is you can do that now so great Great to see Apple giving a little bit of customization within the Messages app, make things a lot easier to reach with one hand. Now, of course, I wish it was on the right side since I, I believe majority of users are right-handed with their phones, but I, I digress. The other thing with the public, well, the beta nonetheless, is that sometimes the keyboard wouldn't show up when you try to type, or if you tried to come in here to go ahead and try to type, the keyboard wouldn't pop up. That is something I have, notice they that has been addressed i've i don't even think i've experienced my keyboard disappearing or not showing up when i'm trying to type and there was another problem with like youtube studio where when i would try to change the title of my video it would disappear up to the top and wouldn't stay where i could try to change it on my phone so i had to actually do a lot of youtube studio editing on my tablet all because i couldn't see what i was doing that has been addressed and fixed so far as well i haven't had any issues there as well within iOS 17 public beta 2. Now, another option that Apple has added with the public beta 2 is with AirDrop. Primarily around the whole name drop thing and or that close proximity NFC uh, data transfer, they've added the ability to essentially disable that if you wanted to. So upon finding your AirDrop in the settings, which of course I'm still trying to get good at this guy, so just Give me a second, I believe it's in general. So once I come up here to general airdrop. Now, of course, you yeah, so start sharing by bringing devices together. You can turn that off so that way you don't get the animation and you just have the general airdrop abilities. Now, to me, I don't know why you would turn it off because I don't know how often you're near two phones all the exact time <laughs> to end up triggering that unless then maybe you're doing a video like this but you're doing like a top down, you have two phones next to each other and they just inadvertently trigger each other. I don't see why people would turn it off, but maybe it's been a norm for some individuals. I don't know. I'm sure it'll get tweaked and improved through the betas leading on to the stable official release of iOS 17, but that is another change that they've done there. And if we want to know some of the things that they squashed and changed, if we go into the feedback app, we go into recent activity. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay. I think it's all iOS and iPad OS 17 beta four, which is the beta four for the developers, but it's beta two for the public. Here are some known issues. Device with a large number of installed apps will display an Apple logo with progress bar for an extended period while the file system format is updated. This is a one-time migration when upgrading to iOS 17 beta for the first time. And MP3 files with malformed ID three tags will fail to play. 3D objects, known issues, free form. There's a, there's a bug that's known there. And in terms of things that have been added or, you know, essentially updated or upgraded with uh, new features, you got spatial. So in terms of, I would imagine spatial audio, BNNS, uh, VL or V image, something like that. Accessibility has some known issues with voiceover. There's a workaround right now. Users can temporarily disable predictive text in the settings app. And I would encourage you, even once your device boots up after downloading the, the public beta public beta 2, restart the device again anyway. You know, once you come log in, let it kind of set up real quick, give it a few minutes, restart it again. That way it kind of clears out anything from that perspective. Now, these AirPod features I will I am not able to use because I'm not I'm not, I basically can't get the beta software for the AirPods because I don't have a Mac to use the whole, the, the, the beta tool in order to essentially push or be able to toggle on my developer mode to then be able to have access to turn on beta software for the AirPods. I don't have a Mac to do it. So I can't do that right now. 
And there might be a workaround out there, but I don't feel like doing it because I technically, I don't have a laptop either. I operate everything off of a tablet, which is why I'm, I really would like the iPad Pro because I think there's some things such as video editing that really benefits me. By all means, if you're running the beta software, go on, jump into your feedback app and go into your all or recent activity and you will find the release notes there and those are pretty much the things i have been able to find i haven't had any issues with my interactive widgets working you know if i just want to play this real quick and then that's it see it works just like that no problem so i i like that apple maps i've been enjoying using apple maps haven't had it direct me anywhere wrong yet and it's a very beautiful app once you use it of course i'm a big google maps guy but trying to dive solely into apple apps I'm trying to, and so far I've had success. I've even converted over from YouTube Music to Apple Music. We'll see, because once my six months free is up, we'll see if I stay there. But the fact that there's lossless media, the fact that there's Dolby Atmos and it uses spatial audio uh, to try to enhance some of that sound, I know we're gonna actually need better AirPods in order to take advantage of those two things. But at least they have it built in within the app and with Apple Music with iOS 17, last feature. I think I'll be able to find it. If it's not here, it's in the settings. I think it's in the settings. Yes. So in Apple Music, once we go into the app, you can actually, oh, there's an EQ in here. Nice. You can do crossfade, meaning songs can fade into each other when this, when one song is ending, the next song will start to fade into the background. And so of course I, I turn that on right now. And I thought they gave you an option in terms of how long, like how much time of the la of the pre of the current song, uh, how, the next song will fade in between like one and like 15 seconds or something like that. So I like that. If you have a very diverse playlist, it's gonna be interesting to hear what fades into what. So I'm looking forward to that. But yes, 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 Iowa 17 is gonna be a game changer overall so let me know down in the comment section below what are some things that you hope apple will add to ios 17 or ios in the future are you running the beta software have you ran into any other features or bugs the comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like the like button subscribe to the channel the notification bell so it's some five videos so it's your best class it was crack which man mike signing out to the next video wait oh